The International Programme for the Development of Communication is the only intergovernmental initiative of the UN that allocates funds and sets standards to strengthen independent journalism and build up media organisations in developing countries. The IPDC is how UNESCO has boosted the development of media over the years. Over the past 40 years, following the decisions and guidelines of the Intergovernmental Council and its Bureau, the IPDCs focused on projects that target the most urgent issues facing communication development around the world. So ultimately, it helps keep journalists safe. It supports developing media in countries where this is most needed, and it protects and promotes freedom of speech and the public's access to information. How has it played out over the past 40 years? What's been the contribution of the IPDC and its council of 39 states that govern the relevant programs? Let's have a look. The IPDC was created because one of the pillars of UNESCO is precisely communication. Article number one of the UNESCO's constitution. UNESCO will guarantee the free dissemination of ideas by word and image. As the world changes, so does the IPDC. The UN Sustainable Development Goals have helped the IPDC promote the importance of media development as being key for progress in the bigger picture of health, climate issues, justice, jobs and more. The IPDC has mobilized about 120 million US dollars for about 2,000 initiatives across 140 developing countries and countries in transition. Every year, it supports about 70 projects. The IPDC's rapid response mechanism allows it to move quickly in tackling urgent media development needs, as seen with the Ebola epidemic in West Africa and today with COVID-19. Throughout the coronavirus pandemic, UNESCO's IPDC has supported media in developing countries by setting up information hubs to make sure that accurate information about COVID-19 is spread. The coronavirus crisis can aggravate already challenging media landscapes, particularly for local media, which can lack capacity and resources, but which serve the most vulnerable communities. Projects backed by the IPDC are responding to current pressures by getting media organizations to support each other and ramp up the use of digital resources and services. Access to information is fundamental for democratic societies and to ensure that many different voices are heard in the media. This is especially important if we want to change the fact that women are severely underrepresented in media, both in terms of decision making and content. In today's digitalized world, we need to ensure that the online environment is rights based approached, open, accessible, and multi stakeholder driven. As the events of recent months have shown, journalists and information professionals deserve our thanks. They are on the front line when it comes to covering the pandemic. They play an essential role in distinguishing between rumors and reliable information. In the next few years, the program will continue to play its role in defending freedom of expression and ensuring access to information so we can rise to the challenges of the future. This is why to celebrate the program's anniversary, UNESCO calls on all of its partners, all of you, to keep up your commitment to the IPDC. Thank you very much.